Mind the gaps. One, two, one, two, three, four. intro for Mind the Gaps is a B flat 7 sus 4 um, and it changes to a B flat 7. So the way we play that we would have ring finger on fret number 8 on the G, pinky fret number 9 on the B and index finger fret number 6. So that plays the B flat 7 sus 4 and decent amount of palm muting and control with the right hand to get the percussive ch -ch 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 finger on. And when we get to the B flat 7, all we do is swap out ring finger for middle finger. Then we're into the main riff of the song, which is the B flat riff. So that's an octave of B flat 6 position. Then we're playing this root third thing, so we're on the fourth fret and third fret, and we're going up chromatically. Four, five, six, 
Then we play uh, kind of a funk riff. Really cool sounding riff. Um, fret number 7 on the G string, 7 to the 8 on the D, and then 5 to 6 on the G and D respectively. Now we're into the bend, which is a C sharp, to a D, which is 4 to 5. And uh, now we're doing this thing, it's an A7, and we slide it into a B flat 7. Like that. It's not played that first time, it's too slow, so it goes like a. Uh, Thing, although I think that helps. So once we have that, we are in the second part, which is a variation of the first part. It's similar, but it's different. So we're doing. Then this riff is different. That first time I played it was wrong. The second time was right. So it's actually. Slide on the G string, 8th fret, 6 to 7. Now we're playing this thing, it's like a mini arpeggio. 8 to 8. And add in a little bit of palm muting so it doesn't sound too. Eh, nah, 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 nah. You want to have it tick, 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 like ticking along, that kind of a thing. So that's what we want, okay? Now we're doing another slide. This time we are going straight to the kind of flat sound, we're going from 6 and 5 on the D and G, to 8 and 7. And now we're doing a slide from the 3rd fret to the 8th fret, and then we're playing that B flat there, fret number 8 on the high E string. Then we play that whole section again, and then, once that's done, we're into the next riff, which comes in here. It's going to be quite jazzy. You don't want to just play a flat pedestrian. So we want to have it. We're doing a slide there. And then we're doing this thing here. It's an inverted power chord. We're sliding initially from the 9 to the 11 on the B. Then we're playing both strings together. You can use two fingers for this, I prefer one. It just gives me more control. Apart from when I don't play it right. That's what we want. And we end on the B flat. And back to that B7, sus4 kind of sound. Which is 8, 9 and 6. And this time we're going to play, which is a nice thing to practice, a good thing to practice, it's very kind of technical, that hammer on slide thing, so we're doing that from 5 and 4 on the G and B, to the two sixes on the B and G, and then we're back to this. Up to 11. So that is 8 on the D, 11 on the B, 10 on the G, 9 on the B. And we're doing this thing, it's a, a hammer on pull off. If you use your ring finger, it anchor the 8th fret. This thing again, these kind of a uh, sharp fourths, flatty fifths, chromatic. And now we're into this chord here, which is an F7 sharp 5 sharp 9. I repeat, F7 sharp 5 sharp 9. So once we're into that, we're playing that like a triplet. Three triplet, three times. Now we are into. Uh, the drum solo section, and we're coming in with an E flat major seven. So this has got to be right on the one. The first time is on the one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, da, da. And the second time it's the and of the one. One and. Da, 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 da. You'll pick it up, right? You'll pick it out. It's simple. So uh, we're playing E flat major seven. So 
There's the voice that I'm using for that. Um, I'll just give you the frets as we go on. Six, eight, six, eight, seven, eight, six. That gives us this. The second chord is a D7 sharp five sharp nine, which is five, four, five, six, six. The third chord is a B flat 7 sharp 9, which is 6, 7, 9, 9. Very funky jazzy. Super jazz. So this is how we play them, play them together. The thing about this is getting your fingers moving quickly enough. These chords aren't for, for novices. These are for jazz, metal people like us. So, we're playing. You just pay attention to your timing. You want to be dead on that one, and then the second one's dead on the end. Okay. Once you get through that, you're into the guitar solo. So I have my notes aside, aside, B side. So I'm just going to look through the guitar solo here. We're coming in. The first chord is a G minor nine. So I'm sitting essentially around about G Aeolian, G, which is a relative minor, G minor, G minor pentatonic, with some added notes from the, the diatonic. Uh, so if uh, G is a 6, we are looking at B flat as a 1, so B flat major, notes diatonic, notes from the key of B flat major or G minor are going to work for this. So, so in the solo in the video in the demonstration I was playing and I was tapping on notes from, from here because this gives us if we go into this B flat major that starting position there fret six would be our B flat and we can do the Ionian mode from there. And we have G minor pentatonic back here in the third position. Uh, the tapping thing that I was doing. I was tapping fret number six. Uh, sorry, I was tapping fret number eight. Pulling off to six, pulling off to three. Which is essentially a kind of a Eddie Van Halen thing where you combine two shapes of a pentatonic, pick notes from the other shape, second shape, and go back using the notes in the first shape. So, and then the solo, the key changes, the key changes in the solo to C sharp major. So you'll hear me when I got high. And then essentially played C sharp. A, uh, C sharp Ionian bigger third. To get into that, we are starting your Ionian mode on the ninth position. So um, I'll look at that in a couple of different ways. I don't like to be doing too much of that kind of modal stuff. I think it takes away sometimes from the feel of it. There's a cool lick that I like to use, which is a very octave based thing, so we take six notes. Now I know what you're thinking, that's more or less the whole scale, apart from one, but I like the effectiveness of this octave thing. So you'll see here if we come into the Ionian mode, from C sharp major, I'm going to take that down a step, so we're playing the uh, ninth position, 9, 11, 13. And we're going to go down an octave, just a straight octave. That takes us down there to the sixth position on the uh, D and G string. And down an octave again. Which gives us that riff. So you can use the, more or less the entire fretboard to play notes in that solo. Um, it's just a matter of connecting them all, they're all relevant. So uh, again, you could look at it, which I didn't do in the demonstration, a different point, you could take the relative minor of C sharp, um, which is 
which is B flat. You could play your B flat minor phrase as well. Again, it's whatever your ear, whatever pleases you, whatever whatever's good to your ear, that's what to use for the solo. Okay. So coming out of the solo, we are into these chords, D7, sharp 5, sharp 9. So this next one, which is F7, sharp 5, sharp 9. So the D, so that is 5, 4, 5, 6, 6. Yeah, from the 5, 4, 5, 6, 6, 4, 5, 6, 6, to the now we're into this next section here which is a picky little uh, the bass solo so the tonality for this is B flat 7 so we are again in the 8th position on the D string and we're playing 8, 10, 9 the first time then 8, 10, 11 F to B, that's the first position, 1 and 3 on your E and D strings, to 7 and 9 on the same strings, then to the F, F to B, F to B, to F, to B, so again that third F, F to B, and then we're changing, we're going down to the 8th position on the A string, 8 and 10, there's the F, then the next B, is 14 and 16 on the same string and then the last one is the B flat we're moving back a semitone so instead of 14 16 we're playing 13 15 so that bit that's it and just get it up to speed and that's you so I want to know if this has helped in any way leave a comment leave a like anything you want if you want to subscribe hit the bell do all that stuff and let me know if there's any other rock school ones you want me to break down and Thank you.